Do you have a car? If, if yes, yes, click the subscribe button now. Believe us, sooner or later you will need our help. We bet that you had to replace a burnt out headlight bulb at least one time in the past. Don't go to an expensive dealer for a simple bulb replacement. Subscribe to this channel and save time and money. Here you will find the best in the world information about halogen, xenon, and LED headlights. Based on more than 20 years experience, we will also show you how to troubleshoot and repair your headlights. Subscribe, camera, action, lights. Hi guys. Today I will make a short video about the headlight leveling system of the Opel Vector C and Signum Xenon headlights. It is both valid for non-adaptive type headlights, standard Xenon headlights and for the adaptive type Xenon headlights. The system is basically the same, the parts are different. If you have a wrench adjustment fault at your car basically you have to check three main parts for uh, fault although there are many reasons that can cause a wrench adjustment fault some of them are mechanical damage no supply voltage interrupted data cable or just control unit if replace is not coded but the main three reasons are the headlight leveling motor fault control unit fault which is known also as, as wrench adjustment control unit or the sensor faults most of the time if not any wiring issue one of these three parts is faulty if you have a wrench adjustment fault at your cut and wrench adjustment fault uh, signal at your dashboard basically I will show you how this system operates this is the uh, axle sensor this is the suspension position sensor the other in other words basically you have two sensors at your car on the left side uh, at one at the front axle and one at the rear axle these uh, sensors collect the data about the vehicle load and pitching and sends the data to the control unit range control control unit in at Opel it's named as HLL control unit for non-adaptive types and IFL control unit for adaptive type headlights as stated sensors collect the data sends to the uh, control unit the range control unit the range control unit uh, compares the data received from the sensors with the already uh, already embed data in the control unit and in turn gives commands to the uh, headlight leveling motor actuator to arrange the uh, cutoff line of your headlight basically so if you have a range uh, adjustment fault you have to check one of these three parts the range control unit at the Opel Vector C headlights is located at the left side headlight at the uh, outer edge as you can see it is located at, at a bracket this is valid for both IFL type headlights and by Xenon headlights and uh, standard type headlights you can find it here Let me take the correct Torx. You will need T15 or T20 depending on the screw at your headlight in order to remove it. If you have a non-adaptive 
non offle type headlight. This is your range adjustment control unit. Uh, either you have 24, 417, 112, or 13, 178, 462. These are the GM uh, part numbers for the control units. Just to underline, these both units are interchangeable and are used at non-adaptive type Xenon headlight, this headlight. This headlight also has a version of chrome bezel inside and the black bezel is this one, but they are both same. So, if you have a range adjustment fault, you have to check the, first you have to check the uh, sensors, the control unit range adjustment or the headlight leveling motor which is located under the small cover here as you can see the headlight actuator which is commanded by the uh, control unit range control uh, unit is located here if you want to check basically most of the time they are uh, burned due to the moisture condensation and water regress issues this is for the range adjustment as stated after checking the range adjustment or actuator motor step motor or the control unit you have to also check the sensors they are located at the rear and the front axle uh, as a rule of thumb the first thing that you have to look at the sensors and the control units are the plugs. These ones are very clear. You have to check whether you have a, uh, oxidation there, some kind of uh, wo water ingress marks or etc. If these uh, parts get some moisture or water, they are uh, burned. They are getting burned. So. This is all I can say for the wrench adjustment fault uh, issue. If you don't have a tech tool diagnosis,